Welcome to not my channel. I don't know how the hell I got here. Uh, my name is Tom McKay of Metal Robot Reviews, and I'm here to answer the most outlandish questions on the internet, courtesy of Brutally Delicious. I'm so happy to be here, and I uh, hope this is a good one for you. So without, uh, without further ado, let's get straight into the questions. I've got them all right here. Let's take a look. If you had to give up one thing for the rest of your life, would it be brushing your hair or brushing your teeth? Um, well, my hair doesn't really matter about brushing it because, uh, if it keeps getting longer, I guarantee it's going to be a lot of a fun time in the pit once we are able to get out of quarantine and do more of those, uh, concerts. So, the only thing I really do care about, though, is, yeah, I gotta brush my teeth, man. Like, you can knock some people out if I don't brush these teeth. Like, holy shit, <laughs> that pit will stink. I'll be the only one running around because everyone would have died by that point. So, uh... I'll keep, the, I'll keep the teeth brushing, thank you. Would you rather be a hobbit or an elf for 24 hours? Whew, would I be an hobbit or an elf? Oh, you're speaking to my Tolkien-loving heart. Ah, uh, uh, if I had to choose, I would say... Hmm, a hobbit, I guess? Mostly just because uh, I, I wouldn't really have to change too much. I mean, hobbits will do whatever they choose to do when, when they get down to it. They're not really tied to nature, sort of like... Uh, the elves are. The elves are pretty much practically so much part of nature. Like, they're a big part of nature that they practically are nature. So, I probably wouldn't want to be restricted to that. So, the hobbits are definitely something that I would want to strive to be. Also, they, you know, save the world. So, there's that. What's the craziest thing you've ever done? Raw dog to hooker. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> no, no, I, uh... Craziest thing I've ever done. Oh, God. I can't think of too much in terms of, like, crazy I've done. Uh, like, crazy events, I guess. Uh, like, certain things have happened before. I told a Catholic, an old Catholic woman that I uh, worship Satan, as a joke. Uh, mostly because, like, that I was, like, just standing on the street corner. I, um, and this woman just... I, I, for some reason, she had holy water on her. I guess she was going to something. She started spitting it at me because I was wearing a Slayer, a Slayer shirt. Uh, so I basically told her uh, that, uh, sorry, I had Jesus last night for dinner. Uh, he was delicious, by the way. Hail Satan. Have a good day. And uh, that was into that. I don't, I don't think she wanted to talk to me again after that. <laughs> to be fair, neither did I. So, If you could only eat one food for the rest of your life, what would it be? Ooh, uh, pizza. Mostly because it covers all the food groups and pizza. Like, you can't go wrong. What set of items could you buy that would make the cashier the most uncomfortable? <laughs> I just thought of a really bad one. Uh, condoms and a pregnancy test. <laughs> in one batch. You never know, just in case. Would you rather have nosy neighbors or noisy neighbors? Well, I'll tell you right now, uh, either or can be sorted out with a sharp object. So, uh, you really, you really don't need to choose on that one. Oh, ooh. Ah, uh, either one sounds bad. Oh, butter, because I, f I feel like at the very least, I won't burn afterwards. I'll get super fat, but to be fair, I was already on the way to that anyways. So, that shouldn't be much of a problem. How do you feel about putting pineapple on a pizza? It doesn't really matter. I'm personally not a fan of it, but that's okay, because you know what? We'll, we'll all burn, burn in the end. What two totally normal things become really weird if you do them back to back? Uh, buy a metal shirt and go to a pop concert. Two totally normal things, but back to back? Oof. Or even better, reverse it. Buy a Justin Bieber shirt and go to a Slayer concert. Either way, it's totally normal, both of them, but... Actually, it's not normal anymore. Slayer's gone. Oh, fuck. Oh my god, Slayer's gone. What's your favorite animal sound? Boom, boom, ding, boom, boom, ding. No, not animal sound. Okay, uh... Ah! No, that's not it. Fuck. <laughs> I started thinking of, like, animal from the Muppets, but I don't think I can do that voice. Um... Boom, boom, ding. Which of the seven dwarfs is most like you? Oh god, I have to remember who the seven dwarfs are. Um, let's see, I know there's a... Happy, Grumpy, Sneezy, I think? Yeah, Sneezy. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, that would have to be probably... Whichever one jerks off the most, that one. <laughs> if you could have dinner 
with any currently alive person in the world, who would it be? Okay, real talk. Real talk on this one. It would have to be Corey Taylor. Mostly because, uh, for one thing, it's Corey fucking Taylor. But also, I would really want to pick his brain for a few hours. Just to get an idea of, like, anything that he could te have to teach people. Uh, songwriting, lyric writing, uh, how, to be, uh, how to be an awesome per Like, all this stuff. Uh, writing, even. Uh, like, not even for just songs, but, like, maybe books. Um, just how to have an outgo be outgoing. Uh, I would have so many questions I would want to ask him to uh, just just to be overall better than who I am right now. If I had a couple hours over dinner, especially, I would have plenty of time. All right, I I eat slow when I'm talking, so that would be that'd be something I would do. Are you more of a hunter or a gatherer? More of a chronic masturbator, to be honest. <laughs> Probably a hunter, uh, I would say. Uh, mostly just because I would want to... As a hunter, you could uh, provide for your village, uh, provide for your family. And that is something that I could definitely see myself doing. Uh, some, You know, because I... It's a, I don't know, something that's, that's like engraved in my DNA is being a protector of the people I care about, so... Yeah, probably Hunter. We finish the interview and you step outside the office and find a lottery ticket that ends up winning $10 million. What would you do? Uh, $10 million? I would, st I would still go back to work. That $10 million is going to be going bye-bye pretty quickly. What do you think about when you're alone in your car? I think about how we're all just tiny human beings on this floating earth and we all die in the void, never to be heard from again. That and also, what am I going to eat in, like, twin hours? <laughs> and yes, twin hours, of course, is a real thing. I mean, it's not, but it, it can be a real thing. If you could be any animal in the world, what animal would you be, and why? Uh, I would... I would probably be, uh... I would probably be a, ba a bamboo? A bamboon? A bamboon? Baboon. Baboon. Uh, just so I can pick my asshole and no one will judge me for it. What were you like in high school? Ooh, that's a good question, actually. Um, back in high school, I was not too much different from who I am now, although back then I was a lot more snarkier. Uh, like, I'll give you an example. In one of my classes, uh, towards, like, the end of, uh, like, towards, like, closer to the end of my high school, uh, career, I guess, uh, towards senior year, uh, it was in weight training class, and there was this one kid in my class who, you know, as a metalhead, of course, I always get, you know, a bunch of people who like to make fun of me for being a metalhead. This one guy was especially like that, but of course, he had the most unoriginal jokes you could ever think of. The school shooter jokes. And, I don't know, like, after a while of hearing about them, just one day, uh, I heard that he gave one more joke. And then I looked at him dead in the eye, and I basically said, well, guess who's going to be the first to die when I snap? <laughs> the look on his face said it all. He was just like, like, there was a portrait of him, like, somewhere else, and it just, it like, it's a good portrait of himself, like, just smiling, and then his face just looked like he had a stroke. <laughs> like, it, you, there's, it's a night and day difference. Like, there's that picture of, like, and then there's just him. He stopped talking to me for the, for the rest of the year. <laughs> it was great. What do you want to be when you grow up? Honestly, kind of what I'm doing right now. Like, I love doing YouTube. I love uh, being a part of the music community, a part of the media community. Uh, just, you know, doing stuff like that is something that I strive to be in. Because uh, it's kind of something of my true calling, I guess it is. I've never felt more in a place where I belong than when I was doing music, uh, music reviews or even writing my own music or just connecting with all these people in the industry. I've never felt more at home than I ever have. Uh, hope, and I do have a lot of ways to get there. I have a lot of plans to do that, uh, to get further into it and make it my full-time job. Uh, it, but, but you know, that's something that will, uh, you know, something that we'll have to wait and see what happens. If you didn't have this job, what would be your backup plan? Uh, my backup plan is what I went to college for. That would be radio. Uh, so if I, if the whole music thing doesn't end up, end up working out uh, and, you know, I end up falling into the abyss, radio is something that I can definitely fall back on for the full-time thing. And I still kind of am kind of doing that. I'm already in radio for part-time work. I'm a, 
I'm a technical producer for a talk radio station here in uh, Hamilton. So that's something I'm already kind of getting into. I find it, for myself at least, the next step to towards my dream job. But if that doesn't end up working out, then radio is at the very least a good place I can fall back on. Teach me something I don't know in the next 30 seconds. Ooh, fuck. Uh, five minutes, five minutes. Uh, put them on the clock. Uh, okay, okay. I might have... I might take less than this one. Uh, have you ever heard of something called Roko's Basilisk? Uh, and spoiler alert, if you have any sort of uh, existential dread that you cannot you cannot handle existential dread to the nth degree, you might want to skip ahead for this one. But Roko's Basilisk essentially is a thought experiment that goes something like this. Um, there's, in the future, a singularity, an AI born from a singularity, and it's given one prompt to optimize... Completely. And do, and there, the AI's way to optimize is to uh, subject people to torture. Specifically people who either did not want the AI to come into fruition, or for those who did not personally have it come into existence in the first place. So if you're in, the, if you're in those two boxes, you will be subjected to eternal torment. But if you created the, the, this basilisk, then no problems here. Um, and the reason why this is, a, is such an existential dread type of scenario is because uh, it can it can tell if you wanted it to come into existence. It knows if you wanted it to, it to come into existence and whether you wanted it to not be made. And if you did not want it to be made, well, then you're going to be tortured for all eternity. Without death, possibly, uh, or hell, you'll probably die at the hands of it. No one knows. Either way, eternal torment awaits you. But, you know, if you never thought about this thought experiment, if you never thought about it, well then, no harm, no foul, right? The problem is, by me telling you, it's too late. The basilisk has its eyes on you. So, what are you going to do? What do you work towards in your free time? <laughs> what free time, man? I, uh, In my spare time, I uh, do voiceover work. Uh, so, I... Uh, it's kind of like a side gig. I'm a, I'm a freelance voiceover artist on the side. So that's something that I've begun doing as well. So in my spare time, that's kind of what I do, which means it no longer becomes my spare time. Uh, and uh, yeah, essentially that. That or YouTube, whenever I finally get back to uh, into it. Voiceovers have just taken up a lot of time, man. I want to get back to YouTube, man. YouTube, not YouTube. Oh, God, no. How would you rate your memory? Dude, I don't even know what the first question was. <laughs> like, I completely forgot. It's ghosted at this point. How many pennies would fit in this room? Uh, well, wait, who am I thinking? This is, pennies don't exist in Canada, man. We got rid of those a long time ago. Uh, so, uh, get wrecked. While you are sitting in quarantine or lockdown, a penguin walks through the door wearing a sombrero. What does he say and why is he here? I can only imagine that he would say something from like the, like that Latino... Like that uh, Hispanic penguin from Happy Feet. If you know, if you saw that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Uh, so I can only imagine that is what whatever line that you can pick from that movie. That's what he would say. Would you rather lose the ability to read or lose the ability to speak? Honestly, I would probably be okay without being able to read. Uh, obviously, I wouldn't be able to answer these questions, but speaking is part of my job, uh, not just in terms of doing this YouTube stuff, but in terms of ra a radio. Because if I can't speak, well, then I can't do my job, whether I'm a technical producer or if one day I do become a host. Uh, so, nonetheless, speaking is part of the job. Reading, I could probably do without. Uh, there's plenty of ways to get around not being able to read proper English or any other language. You can read pictures, uh, you can like do all these things. You don't necessarily need reading, uh, you just need to find a way around the ability to read. Fill in the blanks. My life is ruled by a vicious cycle of blank and blank. My life is ruled by a vicious cycle of coffee and alcohol. One props me up, the other makes me tired again. <laughs> so, it's a good life. When I'm a billionaire, I shall erect a 50-foot statue to commemorate what? Uh, to commemorate my dick. It's, uh, if it's 50 feet, uh, tall, then it's about a, 
one to six hundred scale, I guess. I don't know, I don't know what that ends up totaling up to. I just did some math and I can't remember exactly what that meant. Is cereal a soup? Why or why not? I have a better question for you. Is soup cereal? Let that cross your mind. What's the weirdest smell you have ever smelled? That it would be when someone puts on either too much cologne or too much perfume. Uh, there is such thing as too much. And that weirdest smell would probably have to be from my, st from my younger brother. Um, and that's because, like, I don't know what it is. The guy, whenever he goes out, he has to smell like a freaking nail salon or something. It's weird. Like, it's intoxicating him walking past me. All of a sudden, I'm high off of something. I don't even know what I'm high off of anymore. But nonetheless, I'm just like... <sighs> is a hot dog a sandwich? Why or why not? No, a hot dog is meat in bread. So therefore, then it becomes a sandwich. But um, before that, it's just a hot dog. It's just a just a, a, a slong of meat. It's a sausage, essentially. What mythical creature would improve the world most if it existed? Bro, I don't even know what to tell you, man. That would not work out either way. Any mystical creature that would exist, humans would have tried to kill off almost immediately. And that would be bad news for all of humanity. And even if that wasn't the case, all mystical creatures, no, no, more or less, pose a huge threat to humanity as it is. I mean, at least the ones I can think of, uh, the majority of them are like, uh, like, uh, HP Lovecraft stuff. Uh, there's also like, of course, even unicorns, fucking unicorns, unicorns are evil and you know it. Oh, and of course, anything in the SCP Foundation, of course, that would definitely be a bad thing for humanity. Uh, except for one of them. One of them's so cute. It's a gelatin thing. It's so cute. What would be the creepiest thing you could say while passing a stranger on the street? You know, your mom was lovely last night. Meanwhile, her mom died two days ago. I hope that I hope that came across as a necrophilic joke. <laughs> if not, then I'm so sorry. What are some fun and interesting alternatives to war that countries could settle their differences with? Inflatable sumo wrestling. Yes, I would so pay to watch that. Just grab, like, just grab a bunch of like world leaders <laughs> in a room, get them in like inflatable sumo costumes, and just have them duke it out. <laughs> That'd be amazing. Would you rather meet George Washington or the current president? Well, George Washington, I think we know a lot about. What I don't know, though, is what product does our the current president use to make himself look like a Cheeto. Like, does he actually, like, bathe in Cheeto dust? Or is that just because, like, does he do that to look uh, less white so that he can no longer be blamed for any racist acts that he did commit? Um, I have no idea. Like, it would probably, I would probably want to talk to him and get some answers on that one, man. It's, it's, they're driving me crazy, you know? Would you rather lose your vision or your hearing? Well, uh, you can't hear music with your eyes, so... Would you rather have x-ray vision or magnified hearing? That would be x-ray vision, because if I had magnified hearing and I went to a metal concert, well, then I would end up ha losing my hearing and my vision, so... Would you rather have Rambo or the Terminator on your side? Ooh, probably, probably the Terminator. It seems like he would be a lot harder to kill uh, than Rambo would. Like, Rambo is tough as nails, don't get me wrong, but... He's also still human. Like, he's not, like, sir, he's not, like, superhuman, right? He's still human. But at the same, but, you know, with, uh, with the Terminator, he's not human. The Terminator is a cyborg that is going to be a lot harder to destroy than Rambo. Would you rather your name be Little Caesars or Papa John? Uh, well, let's see. Uh, which one is associated with racism at the moment? I kind of answered the question for you. All right, with that said, that is the end of Outlandish. Uh, thanks again to Brutally Delicious for having me on their channel. And uh, if you would like more of my face uh, for whatever reason, then I have another YouTube channel. I actually have a YouTube channel called Metal Robot Reviews, where I do a lot of metal reviews and sometimes deep dive editorials and so on and so forth. And on top of that, I also have uh, a website, themetalrobot.com, and my own music under the name Tom McKay, which you can all find... Uh, Maybe in the link in the description. I have no idea. Uh, if you do put it down there, then, yep, yeah, down there. If not, uh, 
Google search will do fine, or you can just go to themetalrobot.com to find a lot more. With that said, uh, thank you so much for watching. Thanks again to Brutally Delicious for having me on the show, and I'll see you in the mosh pit next time. Have a good night.